In today's video, I will show you how you can use Kohlberg-White equation to calculate friction factor. Kohlberg-White equation is an empirical equation that can be used to estimate friction factor and for this you would need to know relative roughness and also Reynolds number. As you can see in this equation, friction factor appears on both sides of this empirical equation. Therefore, to solve this, you need to use iteration method. And I will use solar function in Excel to estimate friction factor. You can also use solar function on your calculator, but I will do it in Excel. So let's start. Assume we have a fluid that is flowing through a straight pipe of uniform diameter over certain lengths. An engineer needs to know the drop of piezometric head that is required to make this fluid to flow at a certain steady rate. And this drop of piezometric head, delta H, would be equal to head losses due to friction in the pipe. To calculate head loss due to friction in a pipe, the engineer can use Darcy Wiesbach formula. And Darcy Wiesbach formula, which I show on this um, slide, relates head losses due to friction to velocity head in a pipe and also to the ratio of the pipe length to diameter. And the most important parameter in this equation is the friction factor that depends on relative roughness for that pipe, which is defined as K divided by D, and Reynolds number. And commonly, engineers use either empirical formulas or charts to determine friction factor. Relative roughness is defined as the ratio of pipe roughness to diameter. And the pipe roughness is taken as the average representative height of roughness elements on the surface of the pipe divided by diameter. So this relative roughness is dimensionless number. And Reynolds number, we know that Reynolds number is calculated based on flow velocity in a pipeline and also we can take diameter of a pipeline and kinematic viscosity of the fluid. In this video I will show you how you can determine friction factor using empirical formula. You can also use charts. The most commonly used chart is the Moody chart which relates friction factor with Reynolds number and relative roughness. But in this video, I will show you how we can use Kohlberg-White equation. Kohlberg-White equation is an empirical equation that can be used to estimate friction factor. As you can see in this equation, we have friction factor on both sides, both sides of this equation. So on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, Therefore, to solve this equation, we need to use iteration method. And I will use solver function in Excel to calculate friction factor. I just would like to highlight that for large Reynolds number, when we have fully turbulent flow, when Reynolds number is large, we can estimate the second term under logarithm sign to be approximately zero, so we can estimate friction factor using only the first term and the logarithm. But in this example, I will use the full equation. Data given are relative roughness in millimeters, diameter in millimeters, velocity, mean velocity, kinematic viscosity, and also, I calculate, based from this data, I calculate Reynolds number. So, Reynolds number is calculated as diameter multiplied by velocity. Diameter is in millimeters, therefore we convert into meters and divided by kinematic viscosity. 
So my Reynolds number is quite high. It's 1.8 multiplied by 10 and power 6. And I also determine my relative roughness. Both parameters are given in millimeters, so I don't need to convert into meters. So K divided by D gives me relative roughness. And I will use solver function. I will need to start with trial value of friction factor. And then I will need to calculate my final friction factor using trial value on the right hand side. To calculate final friction coefficient, we need to rearrange Colebrook White equation. First, I take both sides of this equation into power 2, and then I rearrange this to get my friction factor, which I call F final. On the right hand side of this equation, I use friction factor, which I define as F trial. And when I do calculations, I assume F trial value and calculate F final. And I use solver function to do iteration that I, my final value of F would be equal to F trial. So in trial value of F, I use a number, which I assume this is my assumption for friction factor. And then in this uh, cell B12, I need to calculate. And I will need to calculate in setting this formula. So equal 1 divided, open bracket, minus 4, multiply by log 10, open bracket again. Now we have a relative roughness divided by 3.75. Relative roughness I calculated, so I click on cell B9, divided by 3.71, plus 1.26, divided by both Reynolds number and square root of F trial. So divided, open bracket again, Reynolds number I also calculated, multiply by square root of F trial, so multiply by F trial in power 0.5, or you can also use square root function. I prefer to use 0.5. Close the bracket, close the bracket again for log, and close the bracket, and now in power 2. So my value is 0 0.0035, which is slightly different. I need to have those two values equal to each other. And I will use solver function. To use solver function, you go to your data tab and you use solver function. If your solver function is not here, you can install it by going to File, Options, Add Ins, and when you, my solver function is installed, but when you click, if it was not installed, when you click Go, you would need to tick solver, add in, add in, and click OK. Using solver function, we need to use, first, uh, we set our objective, which will be our formula where we calculate uh, friction factor, and um, then we use a cell which we take and use in this formula, which is our trial value. And now we have to put a condition. I already tried, so I will just delete this condition. I will do this again. So we need to set a constraint. So add, and my condition would be that both values are equal to each other. So equal to this, and we click OK. And now I use solve. And my final F is 0 0.0035. This is how you use Colbert Quart equation to estimate friction factor. There are other methods like Moody charts, 
and I will make another video to show you how you estimate prediction factor from a Moody chart. Thank you. Goodbye.